week? How's everything been coming along? Um, it's been going. <laughs> that's what's important. Um, I'm getting a lot more consistent with studying, so that part's good. But I think I'm just um having some trouble like actually sticking to like my schedule um and like reviewing and learning like the foundational material and stuff like that. Um, but it's definitely coming along. Um, and I'm planning to um, take weekly practice tests um, for now and then. I want to increase the number um, as I go. Perfect. Solid. Yeah. So you said the study plan, sticking with it, staying on track mm -hmm. is tough sometimes. What, oh, yeah. why, why do you think that is? Do you have other stuff going on? Yeah, I think it's just because like it's the summer. Um, COVID's finally over, so there's always something going on. Um, also with, um, I'm working a part-time job right now. So, um, and it's like 20 hours a week, which is definitely manageable, uh, but at times it's hard. Um, and I'm also taking a summer class. Um, so in those aspects, um, it's sometimes hard to squeeze time in. I hear you. Yeah. It sounds like you do yeah. have a lot going on. Yeah. Do you have a particular target test date in mind? Um, so I was aiming for November, but I'm looking to matriculate in fall 2023. Um, and so that's why I started early because I knew I would appreciate the buffer. So if anything, I'm okay with January. Um, like just before June is fine, but I would like to finish by January for sure. Cool. So there's really no rush then. We're speaking yeah. now in July. January is yeah. six months away. Exactly. So that's why, um, but I, I do want to aim for November, um, but because like my target score is pretty high compared to like what I've been scoring, like for my diagnostic. Um, so that's why I left a huge buffer because people did tell me that you're going to need like a lot of time um, if you want to improve like over 20 points. Yeah. Yeah. So it could just be a matter of carving out the time you can making the workload manageable. It could yeah. just be two hours a day on average. Some days might be less, some days might be more. If your weekend is more free, you can make it up then. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to push yourself too hard here. Yeah. I know you want the top score. I know you want the improvement. Yeah. But six months is a long time. You can make yeah. a lot happen between now and then. Exactly. Um, so right now, um, I'm just working on logic games since that's currently my weakest section. Um, and I'm just having a lot of trouble with timing um, because like, I, I've done like many to the point where I like get the material and now I've been averaging like um like maybe like three to like maybe like three to three wrong like per game um but that's untimed like with the time constraint it's like really hard for me um to meet it um so that's why I've been scoring very low on that section um but I think it's um and reading comp I've I haven't really studied for it like at all but I think just because I keep doing it I've been improving so I've been averaging like minus like like six to ten on that um compared to how I did before um and then logical reasoning I haven't been worrying about that like too much just because I wanted to focus on logic games up for now nice okay so it's good to get the rundown there you're right that the yeah. exposure and reading comprehension will do yeah. a lot for you exposure yeah. in general can do a lot for you and I get the sense that if you just keep getting more exposure to reading comprehension and yeah. watching the class recordings or mm -hmm. attending, seeing the structure of how it's broken down, regardless of the topic, that will help. So I'd encourage you to go to class, watch the recordings of the previous ones. You'll get more out yeah. of that too. With yeah, logic games, sure. with logic games, I'm interested to go deeper on that with you because you yeah. said you're getting three wrong per game untimed. Yeah. And then of course, when it's time, that adds a whole new element. So there's a lot of work to be done there. Yeah, I'm exactly. Curious, what you have you gone to logic games classes? Have you watched the recordings? Uh, so I've went to um, I've I've went to one um, so far, and that was just because um, I had some issues with my schedule before that. Um, and I've watched like one recording so far too. Uh, but and we did like a timed one together, so that was helpful. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's like the issue I've been having. I'm just like consistently going to classes and watching the recording. Okay. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I know that you're busy with other stuff, so maybe you can't mm -hmm. always make it live. Yeah. Catch up on the recordings, catch up on the videos when you can. Mm -hmm. But I'd say you probably want to put disproportionate time onto logic games right now relative to reading comp because logic games is where it seems like you're having more yeah. of a struggle and then logical reasoning, you'll tackle that when you get there. But for now, let's look at what can we do to make your logic game studying more efficient, more effective, help you get more out of it. Let's look at what can we do to help you make more hypothetical scenarios, help you make more inferences, help you reuse previous work. That's a lot yeah. of what it's going to come down to. Yeah. Notice any trends in certain game types? 
Um, so I'm definitely better at um, sequencing games. Um, I have um, some trouble with like mix, um, group being um, like in general. Um, so the approach I've been taking is I watch all like the foundational videos um, and um, what's listed on the study plan. Um, and I also did like the games that um, were suggested on the study plan. Um, so I'm, gu I'm guessing like the next step is just to like do more drills. So I've just been um, doing problems so far, mainly on Khan Academy, because they have like a lot of questions already available. Um, so, because I, I don't think I'm at the point where I could take like full time practice tests yet um, with just logic games. Um, so that's why I've been like kind of saving those, but I don't know if that's the right approach at all. But yeah, so that's what I've been doing so far. Well, I would definitely suggest using Law Hub mm -hmm. Prep Plus rather than yes. Khan, just because. Mm -hmm. Law Hub is going to give you the exact look and feel you're going to have on test day. And yeah. there's nearly a hundred released exams. 89 of them are numbered. The yeah. same ones you already get from Khan are in Law Hub too. Yeah. So it's not yeah. like it's anything different, really. There's a little bit mm -hmm. of differences, but overall yeah. you want Law Hub because you have enough material there as the mm -hmm. exact same style, the same look and feel. Yeah. So I do, I do, okay. your, I do your work there, but I'd focus okay. on saying, okay, well, if I'm having trouble with the grouping games, let me yeah. focus on grouping games specifically in the course. I lay out exactly which games are grouping, which ones yeah. to work on. And of course you could see the course lesson videos corresponding to that game type too. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. Um, so in terms of like timing, um, so how would you suggest that um, I'm able to like improve my accuracy, like along with my time? Okay. Yeah. So mm -hmm. accuracy, I'm curious when you're getting things wrong, are yeah. you getting things wrong confidently or is it more of a guess? Um, it's definitely a mix of both at the moment, but there's, um, so there's questions that I just don't know how to do at all. Um, and it's usually like the questions that are um, like kind of weird that are in every game kind of um, like one recent one that I just did um, was um, what, so if this rule didn't exist, um, what rule if replaced um, like has the same effect. So like, um, so questions that aren't like on every single question that just like pop up randomly. So there are some of those that like, I just don't know how to do. So in that case, like I obviously guess, but there's ones that like, I either like misinterpreted the question um, or um, cause I'm trying to go fast. So sometimes it's that. And sometimes I just don't like my logic's wrong. Sometimes my diagram's wrong. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So rule substitution in particular, I've got a lesson specifically on that. So watch that. If okay. you have trouble with another game type where you're not sure what to do, I've got course lessons on those game types too. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm wondering if maybe rather than working through more problems, mm -hmm. maybe it's a better idea for you to build your foundation first. Mm -hmm. So okay. watch the lesson videos in foundational, yeah. foundational section of the course. Mm -hmm. Go into the workshops section for the full length recordings. Mm -hmm. then and only then start yeah. doing timed game sections or untimed game sections. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if maybe you've skipped the step of building that foundation. Yeah. Yeah. I, okay. That's kind of the issue I had with the SAT as well. Like I just went into the problems. Um, and I think it's just like, cause I want to like actually start doing um, the problems and like get more exposure. Um, so I did rush it in that sense because I didn't really, build my foundation um, that strongly. I didn't spend that much time on it. So I definitely do think that's something I should do um, along with doing problems as well. But um, yeah, I could focus more on um, like le actually learning the material. Don't focus more, focus. Yeah, the, yeah, prob sure. the, problem, the problems, yeah. you'll get to mm -hmm. the problems. If you follow the study plan in the foundational section of the course, mm -hmm. I'm breaking it down for you day by day. Yeah. Starting with foundation, on a certain question type or a certain game type. And then I give you plenty of opportunity to get into practice problems right there. But mm -hmm. rather than doing a bunch of ordering games, let's figure out the basics of ordering games, how to approach them, both yeah. with short bite-sized lesson videos, as well as full length class recordings, holding your hand going through it. And mm -hmm. then I'll say, okay, well, I've helped you out with the foundation. Now try some on your own. Yeah. It's built in there, but it might not be on day one. It might be on day three, but mm -hmm. give yourself some time to build that foundation first earlier in the process and focus on law hub for the practice test, because that's the only place where it's going to look and feel 
exactly like what you're going to see on test day. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I've been um, using Raw Hub um, for, or I used it on my last practice test. Um, and so I'm guessing like that's the exact format that the actual LSAT um, is going to use. It. Okay. Exactly. Sounds good. Okay, for sure. Um, and I had a quick question. It's not necessarily about the LSAT, but um, I know that like a lot of law schools like had um, an over matriculation problem um, where they actually like enrolled a lot more people um, than they were supposed to. So I was wondering, do you think this issue would persist until 2023? Or do you think it's more of like a this year problem due to COVID and the flex? I would say it's a this year problem. Okay. And certainly, by, <laughs> certainly by 2023, I'm hoping that mm -hmm. things will have resolved. Of course, nobody was expecting the idiosyncrasies of this particular cycle associated. Yeah. So I'm thinking that by then you've got nothing to worry about. It should be back to normal. Okay, sounds good. Okay, that's great to hear because I was um, talking to someone who uh, is matriculating this fall and she was like, oh, it was a mess like the whole time. This cycle was also the most competitive that I can remember. So yeah. you're well served to wait a little while before applying. Hopefully as things get back to normal, the medians and what you need to get into schools will also be back to normal. All right, sounds good. Okay, I'm glad to hear that. Um, and another question I had was, okay, so I've been hearing like, mixed stories about how like weighted the LSAT score is on the actual decision process um because my GP is like fine but I'm just worried at how much weight that the LSAT is actually going to take on my whole entire application well it's going to vary from school to school but overall mm -hmm. the LSAT is the number one factor and then yeah. you have your GPA after that then everything else like the application essays per, personal statement optional essays mm -hmm. diversity statement letters of rec resume and such yeah. but at pretty much every school, LSAT is going to be number one. GPA is going to be number two. Yeah. Just the ratios are going to vary. Okay. I see. Yeah. So that, that's why I'm like starting early is good because I knew I needed a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. No, it's great that you're starting early and you give yourself mm -hmm. five, six months to reach your fullest potential. That's what I typically recommend anyway. So you're starting yeah. at the right time. I'm glad that you're going for January. Thank you. I'm excited. Um, and I also remember one of the things you said was there's no reason not to aim for a 180. So that's the mindset I'm trying to go in with. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's, that's the goal. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for you, Jenny. I'm glad we connected. Yeah. I'm excited to have you in the course. Uh, anything else? For, for sure. Today? I think that was all the questions that I have for today. Awesome, Jenny. Well, I'm really glad mm -hmm. we connected. I'm excited yeah, to have you in the for course. Sure. Thank you so much. This was so helpful. Um, and I'll definitely work on my foundation for like the next few weeks. Awesome, Jenny. We'll keep in touch. Reach out if you need anything. I'm happy to help. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.